everybody, welcome back to my channel. I have a Sam's Club grocery haul for you today. It's a little bit of a smaller one. I didn't get very much produce. Um, it's kind of just a fill-in haul. We were running low on some stuff and so I took the time and ran over there and grabbed some. Sam's Club's about 20 to 30 minutes away from where I live, so it is a bit of a trip. And so I think I need to start working on being more efficient with my list so I don't have to run over there every couple of weeks, work on doing just a massive um, grocery haul for a month. I wish to, but I think I'm going to still have to go over there every month. So what I did was I put an order in for pickup so that they will pick up most of my stuff and then if there's any stuff that they didn't get or have in, I will go in and see if they maybe have something that I could use instead. And so that's kind of what I did this time. There was a few things that I did order. They were gonna ship it to me because they didn't have it in stores. And yeah, so let's see what I got in my haul today. Okay, so I am doing this as a voiceover because I had to film this on my phone and the audio was just really not great. So, okay, let's see what we're looking at here. My husband went with me and he got some alcohol. It's actually a pretty decent price at Sam's Club if you drink alcohol, it'd be worth looking at. Splurging on the alcohol though did increase the cost of the haul, so I ended up spending almost $300, even though we don't have very much on the table. So next we have this Mexican cheese here. I really like it for quesadillas and tacos and anything else that we might want yellow cheese for. We have this naan bread that I got. I had wanted some um, flat bread pita stuff, but they didn't have any, so we're gonna see if the naan bread is a good alternative for our meals this week. I wanna make some Greek chicken tacos and some pita pizzas, but I guess they'll be naan bread pizzas instead. Next we have these this chicken fajita meat, and I really like that to use on quesadillas. I just have to heat it up and chop it up and then sprinkle it on the quesadillas for anyone who wants it. I love this tomato sauce from Members Mark. It's amazing. It's a nice thick sauce, and it's worth the extra cost. We need some sparkling water. I got two cases because we were all out, and we don't like to be out in the house. Um, we don't always drink it, but it's a nice treat, and with six of us, it does go fast. Next up, we have eggs. It's been hard to find eggs for a good price. They're starting to go down, but some places still have them really expensive, some don't. Sam's has been pretty good about having eggs in stock and the, a good kind of egg. So we've been trying to buy a little higher quality egg for our frying and and our uh, breakfasts and things like that. But they did only have one pack of eggs for me today. It is two dozen and it should last. We have this guacamole here that my husband really likes for quesadillas to use as a dip or on top of them. Next we have some vinegar. I use a lot of vinegar with our laundry and household cleaning. It really helps keep the towels a little softer and from getting kind of grimy after multiple washes. And this is the best price around where we live. It's less than $6 for two bottles of vinegar. Okay, we have parchment paper next. Now this is one of the reasons that I went to Sam's Club because we were all out. Normally I keep one upstairs and then one downstairs in kind of our food storage and I thought we had one and we didn't. So I made a list and made sure parchment paper was on it. It's a good price and I really like to use it when I'm cooking bacon and things like that. Next we have these chewy granola bars. I know I could make granola bars and I do sometimes, but it's nice to have these on hand for when we're really busy and my five-year-old can grab one as we're walking out the door to go to sporting events for the older kids. Okay, so we've been making a lot of smoothies and I have been learning how to make some homemade kefir. And so we've been going through a lot of frozen berries, like a lot of frozen berries. I would say probably close to 10 pounds a week. So this is just to help supplement and get us through the week. Um, another four pound bag of sliced strawberries. And once you know it, whenever I decide to start using more berries, it seems like that's when they're out of berries more. So they don't think they had two bags for me today. So like most families, we juggle between um, eating healthy and filling bellies. So these chicken tenders are for my teenage son's school lunches. This is what he wants. He's going to eat them. 
and he also lets me pack some vegetables with him. He drinks a smoothie in the morning for breakfast and I feel like it balances out. These boxes of chicken tenders are also a very good price at Sam's, about $17 a box. So while it adds up when you buy multiple boxes, it's a really great price individually and will last us about a month. Unless the rest of us decide that we would like some chicken tenders for lunch too, which does happen sometimes. The kids that are still home homeschooling, sometimes we really just want some chicken tenders. And we'll make those with some veggies or on a salad. So this is what I got in store, and the other stuff should be coming in the mail soon. But what I got here cost about $300. So the rest of the stuff came. It's only three items and the olive oil and the pretzels you'd think that they would have had in store, but they didn't. So because I have a Plus membership, they do send those to you for free. Well, you have to pay for them, but the shipping is free. Okay, so first up, I got these straws. I've gotten them before and I love them. They're amazing. And the reason I got another pack of these straws is because I have a cat who really likes to chew on things that are like silicone or rubber. And I accidentally left my cup out one night and I woke up and the cup was knocked over and the straw was chewed up. And it really upset me. So I got another one, another pack for backup. Okay, next item I got was some olive oil. We go through a lot of olive oil because I use this as opposed to vegetable or canola oil when I'm making things um, in the frying pan like eggs or ha homemade hash browns, things like that. I'll even use it when I um, make sheet pan vegetables or other things. I want to use more avocado oil, which is a higher heat oil than um, just the pure olive oil, but there it's a lot more expensive. Okay, we have, last thing, pretzels, this big jug of pretzels. I can get pretzels at the store. This isn't necessarily a lot cheaper than a bag of pretzels at the store, but the quality of pretzel is so much better. It is a very good pretzel. Great for snacking. The kids will eat it with some string cheese or um, alongside sandwiches, and it's just really great. Okay, so this is the end of the Sam's Club haul. We got all of our stuff. It'll hopefully last us a few more weeks. I am thinking about getting a Costco membership at the same time I have a Sam's membership. We are in a place where there are both. There's a Sam's Club and a Costco. And I want to see which one I like better. I hear so many good things about Costco. And, but I've always had a Sam's Club membership, and so I kind of want to see which one we would use more. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.